Potter and the Chief Executive of NHS Fife. A huge amount of work has been carried out with our partners across Fife across recent days and weeks to reconfigure our services in our hospitals and in our communities. The work is designed to ensure that our health and care services in Fife remain safe and that we are well prepared to cope with far greater numbers across our hospitals and our community settings over the coming weeks. We've had to change the way in which many of our services are delivered across Fife to minimise the risk of the coronavirus transmission in different areas and we need to safeguard the most vulnerable people in our society. Here at the Victoria Hospital we've been making some important changes to the facility to allow us to manage patients presenting with COVID-19 disease. These include zoning the hospital into areas in which these patients can be safely and effectively assessed. We also have other areas of the hospital in which patients who do not have this illness can also be safely seen either in A&E or in assessment units. We've also been working carefully with our intensive care colleagues to ensure that we are able to maximise the offer of enhanced and intensive care to patients who require it. In order to do this safely and effectively, we have had to stand down all but urgent and essential outpatient clinics and all but emergency surgery. We've also been able to zone specific areas of the hospital to look after those patients who have critical care requirements but do not have COVID-19 disease. We're also looking to maximise the use of the Queen Margaret Hospital in any way we can and we will be transferring services from the Victoria Hospital to the Queen Margaret in order that we can continue to deliver safe care to patients with cancer or diabetes. In addition to this, we are creating a COVID assessment centre in the grounds of the Victoria Hospital. This will allow the rapid triage and assessment of patients who may not require hospital care. So we can limit the spread of coronavirus and to protect our most vulnerable patients across our hospitals, we have introduced restricted visiting times. Please only visit our hospitals if it is absolutely necessary. And please make sure that if you have any flu-like symptoms such as fever or a cough, please do not attend the hospital during this time. Where visiting is necessary, it is now restricted between seven and eight o'clock in the evening. Please make sure as well that only two family members, close family members attend during this time and that children under 12 don't come to the hospitals. There will be a small number of exceptions to this restricted visiting, which will include maternity services, neonatal unit and our hospices. You can find further information on our NHS Fife website. Our health and care staff across the length and breadth of Fife have shown amazing resilience over the last few weeks in terms of preparing our services and I really want to thank everyone for the efforts that they've shown thus far. I have absolutely no doubt that the people of Fife are in the best possible hands. Similarly, you, the public, the people that we serve, have been so very understanding as we've put in place these contingency measures and we appreciate your understanding at this time. You can follow the latest advice on the website NHS Inform. It's really important that you take the very best care of yourself and your vulnerable friends and family. We'll be there when you and your loved ones need us the most.